Okay, we're in the church room now, and I'm going to feature a bench back here. It was in the Union Church at St. Paul. The Union Church was built in 1860, and it was it was a joint uh, venture by the Mennonites and the Lutherans and the Reforms. And that bench came from from that uh, church. Over here, I want to show you the. the first cry room was out of the first cry room, the cradle out of the first cry room from the early church down to Falk Meeting House. I want to show this, it's called a Amish takedown bench. The Amish used to use it and you could take the legs off and be easy to store and to carry. Uh, going over to uh, the communion bench from the Salisbury Reformed Church made by John Engel. Uh, it was their first communion bench. Pulpits were made by Elias Miller, the tiger bird's eye maple and the cherry. Uh, and here's one of the interesting articles I want to show. Harry Gelnett was a woodworker and a and a minister in the spring and the, the Mennonite church he got his arm cut off in a sawmill and he was uh, he was doing a house he was making a house and they took him over to his house and put him on the kitchen table and the doctor cut his arm off above the elbow uh, because of infection and he didn't have any anesthesia and the first thing he did, he made himself a hand. He carved himself a hand and his fingernails and everything. And it was his right hand. And he had to learn to use his left hand. And then he made himself an arm that fit on his shoulder. Went down in like that up there and he put a hook on and he made all his tools with an eye hook that he could hook onto them and he could hold them and he built a lot of furniture he even built houses after this happened everyone looked up to him the way he went and made something bad that happened to him became something that he could live with and there is the wash tub that was Jeremiah Hirschberger. You saw the, the Cooper bench down there. He made that wash tub for the Mennonite church.